Welcome back to the Littles News Briefing. Next time on the show, we're going to be doing a project together. We're going to make a mask. But first, you might wonder, why are we even wearing masks? Well, the CDC has some really important information on that, and I'm going to share it with you. What is the CDC exactly? CDC stands for Center for Disease Control, and it's part of the Department of Health and Human Services in our government. Well, the CDC has a mission. On their website, it says that their mission is to work 24 seven to protect Americans from health, safety, and security threats that either start in other countries and come here or start in our country. The CDC is a really important part of our government right now because they're giving us a lot of information on this virus. They work really hard to let us know how to fight off diseases like COVID-19 and the coronavirus. When they talk about wearing masks, they have a few guidelines that they want us to follow. First of all, if you wear a mask, it should fit snugly, I like that word, and comfortably against your face. It should have ties or ear loops on to keep it in place. It should have multiple layers of fabric. It should allow you to be able to breathe totally fine and it should also be able to be cleaned and dried without messing it up. We should wear these in public when we can't keep a really good distance from other people or when we're in a really, really crowded area. Here's a question that one of you had about masks. Hi, I'm Kaylee, I'm from New York, and I was wondering, do masks even help? The reason that we wear masks is not always even to protect ourselves, although it can protect us. We're also protecting other people, It's another way of slowing down the spread of the virus. We don't want to give someone the virus without knowing that we even have it. Now you might have seen on TV doctors wearing those really fancy masks that they wear in surgery or they wear in the hospital. Well, some of those are called N95 respirators and we don't want to wear those. We want to let other people, the really important doctors and nurses have those because that protects them. But a lot of people are starting to make masks at home. If you make a mask at home, you can wash it using your washing machine. That should be fine. And when you also take it off, try to make sure that you're not touching your eyes and your nose and your mouth. And then wash your hands after you take it off because you might have gotten germs on your hands from the mask. There are a few different ways to make a mask at home. Be sure to ask a parent for help before you try out any of these ways. You can sew one using a sewing machine or sewing materials, but that one's a little bit harder if you don't have those materials. You can make one with an old t-shirt and you can also make one using a bandana. This can be a fun family project to do together. You can decorate them afterwards. Maybe you can tie dye them before or after, but again, be sure to ask a parent or a responsible adult for help before you do any of these. Our challenge for last week was to start your own business and let us know what you did. Here are some results from that challenge. Hi, my name's Ryan. And mine is Hunter. And mine is Andrew. We started a lawn mowing business and we've mowed four people's lawns. And we, and we made $115 for it. 25, $125. I counted it, it's 150 okay. Well, it's one of those numbers. Bye. Oh, and we're from Waukegan, Illinois. Be sure to send us your challenge results at littlesnewsbriefing at gmail.com. Do you have questions that you want answered? They can be about the coronavirus, but it can be about anything else too. Get a parent's help and send a video to littlesnewsbriefing at gmail.com with your question. Be sure to subscribe to my channel for all the updates on upcoming episodes. This is also available as a podcast at ricochet.com or wherever you download your podcasts. If you're enjoying this show, be sure to give us a five-star review on iTunes and also tell your friends about it too. Thanks so much for joining me today, and I'll see you back here soon.